Hi there, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about gut health and hormones and weight loss, why your digestive system and why your gut health is so dang important when you are trying to work on balancing your hormones and really making sure you get to and maintain the best, best, best results possible. Um, this is one of my newer, let me just oh, look at this. I'm trying to see if like the lighting is going to be better if I use a different, no, I don't like that one. Okay, sure. Let's do that one. Um, I'm just playing with a filter <laughs> just to make the lighting better and the coloring better. I don't know. All right. I don't know that I did anything, but um, in talking about this and talking about gut health, I want to make sure that this is something really clear. You cannot get to a point where you balance your hormones and you have great weight loss if your digestive system does not work well. You can't, you can't do it. You can't do it. If your gut is not working, if your gut is not working, this is not going to work for you, no matter how hard you try. And even if you're doing all the perfect dietary things, even if you are, you know, I'm, I'm running on the treadmill, I'm working out so hard, I'm doing all this stuff, I've cut down my calories, I don't care. You can't outrun this. You can't outrun hormonal imbalance and you can't outrun a gut that is not functioning well. And here is why this is so important. First, your gut does a couple of steps here. It has to digest and absorb all the nutrients. Now, these foods here that are listed, broccoli sprouts, raw carrots, leafy greens, cruciferous veggies, all that stuff, contain all these vitamins, B2, B6, B9, B12. You know, magnesium is also really important um, for overall digestion and everything else. But if you can't break down the food to get the vitamin from it, if your gut is like, oh, you get bloated, heartburn, you're not going to the bathroom every day, or you're going to the bathroom too much every day, right? Mm, that means that you are not going to be able to get these vitamins that are essential for maintaining hormonal balance. You can't do it, right? It's like trying to fill your gas up with, with um, or fill your car up with gas, right? And you don't even put the nozzle in right. You're just spilling gas. It's like, it doesn't matter if you're at the gas station. It doesn't matter if you paid for the best type of gasoline out there. Ooh, great. But if you don't actually get it in the car, it's not going to work. That's the same thing here. Second step here that we're looking at, your body has to deactivate and then package up and eliminate the excess hormones, the hormones. Now, I should say excess that ha it needs to happen more if there's an excess, but it also has to happen on a regular basis. It also has to happen just on a regular everyday basis for your estrogens to process out. And if you're, this happens in the gut, that's part of the detoxing hormones, right? So if your body's not doing that, it is not going to be able to maintain those levels there either. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last one here, inflammation. If you have any stress increase in cortisol, things like that, that is going to contribute to weight gain a ton, weight gain and weight loss resistance. And if you're like, how do I know what my body's doing? How do I know if this is part of what I've been struggling with? I'm so glad you asked. We do a test for it. We test. This is the Dutch test. This is a sample of what Dutch test is. It is a test that gets sent right to your home. You take the test, you send it into the lab, then we go over your results and it shows exactly what your hormone levels are and, and how your body processes these hormones. All of this, all of these dials and arrows and everything tell me exactly where your body is or is not doing the right thing. So we can target specifically what your system needs. There's no more guessing. There's no more thinking that you have to, you know, oh, I just need to run extra or I need to cut out the creamer in my coffee. Listen, it is not the creamer that you're having in your, I mean, unless you're like drinking a whole container of creamer every day, which, right, who does that? But if you're putting like, I'm only using two tablespoons of creamer in my coffee. I just love it. Do I have to give that up? No, it's not the dang creamer. It's not the creamer. It's your hormones. It's the other stuff going on with your gut that we need to look at and address in order for you to actually get better, for your body to function better so that all the effort you're doing actually starts to show some results. It's a whole different way of looking at your body and your system. Taking a look at Dutch tests, taking a look at what your system is doing. So I'm almost getting sweaty. I'm getting so worked up about this. So that's what, that's what I wanted to come on and share live and talk about because it is really, really important that, you, that your system gets the right steps taken care of. Otherwise, like I said, I don't care how many calories you're eating. I don't, I don't care what kind of workout you're doing. You can't outrun this. You just can't.
So let me know if you guys have any questions. You can always comment below. You can always email me or message me if you're not comfortable commenting or anything. More than happy to help and, and assist. But sometimes the best way really is to get started is to get your own Dutch test so you know exactly what your system is doing. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. I'll see you later.